So, good evening, everybody. Let's come to order. The time has come for everybody to really give your ears to this uh, presentation, to this program. And uh, tonight, I think this is second to the last meeting, second to the last uh, uh, training, okay? And we are happy that uh, we can have a strong lady from the Trailblazers from Philippine International Church. Uh, she is always on the go with regards to pathfindering, and uh, she is with us tonight in the person of Master Guide Michelle Dulay, a faculty of uh, uh, College of Arts and uh, Academy, ma'am? College of Arts and Humanities or Academy? Academy, Academy Senior High. And uh, she is a holder of PLA and uh, APLA. So tonight, her topic is all about methods of facilitation. You know, uh, another functions of leadership is to facilitate. No, uh, we are not uh, isolated as a leader, but we are always um, in the midst of group. So, as a leader, what will be our our uh, uh, guy? Uh, what will be the guidelines? You no, know, for all of us to become facilitators of the group. Tonight's uh, theme, tonight's topic is to give us a highlight of how to become a strong facilitator in the midst of group, of the midst of our pathfinders. So without much ado, let's proceed to the remaining, to the remaining uh, parts of the program. And... Uh, Welcome everybody to this uh, training tonight. So this evening we will be discussing the um, one of the topics for this. Yeah, we can call it a degree a level in the APLA, the methods of facilitation. So I am Master Guide Michelle Bulay, as introduced by Master Guide Nimrod, Nimrod Salazar. So. Let me share to you a text found in the book of Matthew, chapter 25, verse 40. It says, The king will reply, Truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Okay, so actually, ito na yun eh. Ito na yung summary. Ito na yung gist ng topic. So kung ano man yung ginawa natin sa kapwa natin, not only... Actually, yung word na whatever you you ano, you did, it's also whatever you say. You know, yung lahat na yan. Um, facilitation. Facilitation is actually one of the most common things that a group appointing a leader who then what? Who then takes charge. This person has the responsibility of calling meetings, acting as chairman, leading and guiding the planning processes and is ultimately responsible for decisions made. So, yan yung ano ng facilitation. Um, it is also a kind, okay, a kind of role in a group and is associated with a given set of values. So, we first, okay, will identify five of those values because it was mentioned here. You know, na a kind of ano yung role in a group and is associated with given set of values. There are five set of values. So for this system to work, it is essential that all persons in, a, in the group should understand, demonstrate, and foster this as they are what outlined here. So the first value is we have the democracy. And by the way, if I, I'm going too fast, mag-signal lang po kayo nang siguro wag naman red light uh, orange okay orange light for me to slow down kasi sanay po ako na pag alam kong walang tanong walang shall i say 
a question, uh, no, no clarification, I will keep moving. Okay po. So each person has the opportunity to participate in any group of which he or she is a member. While the facilitator is working with the group, no hierarchical organizational structure is functioning. What does it mean? Walang ano kung sino yung pinakamataas, siya lang yung magde-design, mga ganun. So wala. Pag sa facilitation, when it comes to dem uh, democracy, we are all, ano dito, uh, democratic. We are free. However, we will go with the second value, which is the responsibility. It's not because we are democratic, we can do whatever we want to do. No, it's not like that. So in responsibility, each person is responsible for their participation. As facilitator, you are responsible for the plans you make. Okay, What you do and how this affects content, participation, and process. You are also, ito ang pinaka-importante, you are also responsible for yourself. You must be sensitive to how much responsibility you can handle. It's not because, yung iba kasi, ano eh, they take a lot of responsibility and then later on, wala na. Wala na. Hindi na nakaka-function ng maayos. Um, yeah, we know that our mind can do it. How about our body? Or our body can do it. How about our mind? So let us be responsible for ourselves also. So if we are democratic, we are responsible. What's next? We have the so-called cooperation. Cooperation, actually, one might say that leadership is something you do to a group. Facilitation is something okay, you do with a group. So a while ago, leadership is something you do to a group, while cooperation is with a group. Yan ang sa cooperation. How about honesty? Okay. Next uh, value is we have the um, honesty. So as facilitator, you represent your own values, feelings, concerns, and priorities in working with a group. Your honesty tells the group that you expect honesty from all participants. You should represent yourself fairly and not attempt to go beyond your own capabilities in the role of facilitator. So if you expect your people or your, okay, the people around you or the participants, you yourself should be fair enough, okay? And not attempt to go beyond. Okay, so, yun yung honesty. Next, value is what we call the egal egalitarianism. So, here, each member has something to contribute to the group and should be given an opportunity to do, to do so. So, ang ano dito is, is not, ako lang yung pwede dito. Ako lang yung ano, no. It's everybody. So you must remember that you learn as much from the participants as you as they can from you. Actually ako, even I am the teacher, virtual man or face to face, I don't ano eh, I don't claim the full authority na kahit anong sabihin ko dapat ako lang yung masusunod. So there is also a possibility na yung sinasabi ko ay mali. Good thing is the students um they know, they know how to correct and you also as a teacher or shall I say as someone or in authority, you have to what? Admit also your ano yung yung pagkakamali. Diba? Pero madali lang naman yun if we are open-minded. So the participant has the what? Has the right to choose not eto naman. Has the right to choose not to participate at any particular point in a meeting. So pag sinabing, um, ikaw, ba nga, ikaw nga mag-opening prayer ka, ay pwedeng iba na lang. Um, meaning, there is a reservation. Pwede kasi baka may fear siya. Or ano, so we have to know. Actually, after the ano, itong methods of facilitation, kita ko yung, yung curriculum. Ano eh, ang next dito is yung sa temperament or yung sa, kahit sa attitude. So, remembering the lecture of a Master Guide Salazar last meeting, last week, uh, we have to understand no, yung sa bata na takot sa tubig. So, how are you going to deal with that? So, if if the person okay if a participant is hesitant to render or participate let us not force instead we have to what we have to know pwede mong kaibigan kay kagaya nga no yung batang ayaw lumangoy so pwede mong kausapin uh, pero dito hindi mo naman siya pipilitin na sige na magpray ka na ganito ganyan we have to understand them also so 
um, facilitators focus. Facilitators focus, actually, it's the job of the facilitator on how people will work together. Okay, the purpose of the focus is to what? Is to ensure that members of a group can accomplish their goals okay, for the meeting. Yun yung job ng facilitator. The facilitator sees that each member has an opportunity to contribute and to see that the agenda serves the purpose. This allows for equalizing of responsibility and allows more people to determine okay, what happens and what decisions are made. So uh, as I discuss these things, I am expecting us to evaluate ourselves also, not only as a member, not only as a leader, but most especially as a facilitator. Are we um, exhibiting these things? We just don't know, ah, ito pala ang trabaho ng facilitator. Yung ginagawa ko pala, i-facilitator na pala yun. So, let us evaluate as we go along. So, uh, since we already have this facilitator's focus, how about the code of responsibility of the facilitator? Okay. The role of facilitator actually can get out of hand or be used unfairly. Mm -hmm. It is your responsibility to prevent abuse of your position by thinking through carefully the following code. First code. Hmm. Ano nakalagay sa first code? It is not enough that you have values of cooperation and egalitarianism. The group must understand your role or they will perceive you as an authority and allow you to influence them unduly. Okay. So, ang ano kasi ngayon is, ang trend sa education is we teachers are already serving as facilitators and the students are already called as learners. So, we are not going to keep on yung mga tradition ba, yung traditional na, okay, the teacher will keep on doing, saying like this and like that. So, if we are aware of it, uh, those of us who are educators, we give things to do, okay, we do uh, give the activity and then we facilitate from one group to another. Yun yung nangyayari. Okay, so the group must, yun nga, so they, mu you must, they must understand that you are still in authority. So even, even if you try hard to stay off your pedestal, you may find that some depend on you and look to you to make decisions or define situations. I don't know if you have experienced this one. Sa akin, ilang beses na to eh. Uh, okay, any question? Gagano'n ako sa sudyante. Or even sa mga groups na pinafacilitate ko. Any question? Just, uh, they wanted that this activity will be done. Walang tanong. Pero, when they are already given an activity and they don't know what to do, ayan na. So, kahit na magano ka sa pedestal mo, they will still consult your what? Your, your idea. In, for them to come up with the decision. So, um, this is the strongest test of your values. Accept and use this power or reflect it back to the group. A similar potential for abuse arises when okay, the facilitator performs a subtle non-directional role. Halaka siya. So a friendly, well-meaning facilitator can be manipulative in ways that an aggressive leader could never get away with. You should not use this role to control a group. So. The thing that here is yung manipulative. We tend to be manipulative. Okay? So, pwede naman natin gawin yung pag-control natin if and only if a situation may arise. Okay? So, let's proceed. The role of facilitator actually can get out of hand or be used unfairly. Mm -hmm. It is your responsibility to prevent abuse of your position by thinking through carefully the following code. So as a facilitator, you can actually check yourselves. Am I doing like this? Am I doing like that? Let's see. First, being a facilitator does not mean that you are qualified to be a psychotherapist either. So it's not that because you are in authority, pwede ka na mag-facilitate lahat na ano. Kasi sabi nga nila, ay hindi na-facilitate yan. Kailangan ma-facilitate yung attitude niya, yung behavior niya. If it requires a higher, okay, a higher or the experts, then back off. Let them do it. Ganun lang yun, di ba? Facilitators are often seen as resources for personal or organizational problems. Please remember 
that as facilitator, you cannot expect to meet your own emotional needs working with groups. Often, in groups, people develop one-sided perceptions of each other, resulting in what? In intense interactions. Okay, you may find yourself becoming involved with one person to the, to, what, to the neglect of others and be seen then as an advocate for the one. So, parang nagsasayid ka na. Understands, okay? So, you have to what? Understand what you are doing with them. Therefore, ito. What your goals are, what? How to expect to meet their needs, what you can give them, and how you are, what, going to do that. Yun dapat. Hindi ka mag side. Okay. So for us pathfinders, instructors, or trained trainers, the question is, how does facilitating differ from training and presenting? Diba? Kasi we are trainers, we are also presenters. Okay? Training, public presentation, and facilitating share some common behavior and skills. They often what? Complement with each other. But these are also distinctly different developmental activities. So the following list, let us try to differentiate one after the other. Yung first one is we have the training, okay, presenting, and facilitation. Let us see the difference among the three. In training, participants are present to learn. While presenting, audience okay, is present to receive prepared remarks. While in facilitation, participants are members of teams whose mission is to what? Is to recommend. Diba? Pag sa training kasi one ano lang yan eh. One, or, or the same thing with the, I mean the presenting, one way lang siya. Part sa training naman, mm, one to one. While the facilitation is a part yung mga ano, audience dito or participants. Training, okay, lesson plans are prepared okay, to enhance learning in structure. While in presenting, objectives are based on what is to be communicated. Facilitation. Objectives are based on process improvement. Mm. Diba? Instructor are asked questions to evaluate learning. Sa training yan ha. Diba? At the end of the training, there is an evaluation. How about sa presentation or sa presenting? Presenter primarily answers, not ask question. Okay? So they answer. They keep on ano. If you present nila, so it's just like this one. Uh, what I'm going to, what I'll be do doing to uh, tonight actually is a mix of these three. Training siya kasi ito, matitrain tayo kung paano mag-facilitate. Presenting because I am presenting here and I am giving you answers, I am giving you questions and then answer also. And at the same time, facilitation because I will be asking you to do something later and I hope you have your pen and paper. Okay. Questions are used to develop individual involvement. Mm -hmm. Instructor is a catalyst for a learning in the training. In presenting, presenter's outline is the is to what structure logic, a logical presentation. While in facilitation, an agenda is used to structure the meeting for effectiveness. Okay, visual and other training aids are used to illustrate points in training. In presenting, visual aids are used to present data. In facilitation, okay, so these are the flip charts. Although these flip charts are still considered as visual aids. They are used to record team member input and ideas. And actually, these flip charts, sometimes they are also used in recording the activity. Parang minutes na siya. Or even the meeting. Okay. Uh, involvement. In the training, okay, experimental learning, okay, yung involvement nila is used to learn from others' experience. While in presenting, data charts, graphs are used to support message or recommendation. So, meron siyang backup. In short, it is used as backup. How about in facilitation? Facilitation, uh, uh, actually, facilitator teaches members to use tools for team problem solving. Moreover, okay, the last one, number of participants varies usually under 50 sa training, below 50. So, Tayo dito, kailan ba tayo? Below 50? So, are we training? Yes, kasi below 50 rin. Normally ito kasi um, pag more than 50, not only more than 50, kasi depende rin eh. Depende rin sa activity or depende rin sa ano yan, kung training ba yan or depende sa training, depende sa presentation or workshop. Okay. 
in presenting, communication is largely one way from presenter to audience. Parang ano lang yan, eh, sa promodizer, ito, ganito, ganyan, ganyan lang gawin nyo. Diba? Parang, uh, what do you call this one is a presentation. I am showing you this one, this one. Wala nang question and answer. More likely. Ganun lang yan sa presenting. And in facilitation, Facilitator manages the meeting structure, not content. Okay? It's the structure. Team size is typically three to five members. So, ito. Di ba? First five nga. Para tayong basketball ngayon. No? Yung first five nandito. Yung class marubdob. Mm, class marubdob na natira. <laughs> so, uh, further, under facilitation, may present what? The team's improvement recommendations to management. Now, there is uh, actually, there are setups here in, um, in doing the meeting or the facilitation. Ito, the physical environment for the meeting plays a large role in the effectiveness of the meeting. There are many ways of arranging a meeting facility to enhance okay, the specific style of meeting facilitated once best use one of the following arrangement. It could be this one. Okay, and dito yung flip chart. And then these are the, what, the participants. Okay, yan. So, they can see each other. They can interact. The same thing here in the semicircle. Although, yung ito, medyo mahihirapan makita yung nandito. Pwede naman, no? lalo na yung sa mas na gitna. But if this one will move a little, but it is easier. Unlike on the other sli next slide na hindi talaga magkakakitaan. So, dito, yan. So, this is actually, these are the best, okay? Best to use. So, you can choose one. Uh, these are the next naman is the arrangement that we have to avoid. Ito, these are actually present, presenter, okay, presenters arrangement. So, kaya yun yung mga, di ba, sa commercial, when they do the marketing, when they present, normally ganito, or even yung mga meeting, uh, ganito ang mga ginagawa nila, mga closed door meeting, mga ganyan minsan. Ito yun. Um, now, let's proceed with the causes of poor quality meeting. Ito na. Poor quality meeting. Let us ano, evaluate. Try to pick one meeting and then that meeting will serve the entire ano, na, na evaluation ninyo. Okay. One of the ano, cause of poor quality meeting is number one is we have late starting meetings. Okay. Arrive early and get organized. Yun yung mahalaga dun eh. Kasi if not, if you will not arrive early, tendency is you will what? You will cram later on. Here you must be what? Assertive and start on time. Starting late rewards late comers. Ayan. So we are rewarding actually the late comers. And what are we going to do with those on time or early comers or early participants? We are penalizing them. Is it fair enough? We are penalizing those who are on time. In the Japanese, ano, they have this, ano, eh, they have this um, line, tagline. Five minutes before time is on time, and on time is late. Yun yung ano nila. I repeat, five minutes before time is on time, on time is late. So I repeat, yung pinapenalize natin yung on time or even the early comers if we start the meeting late. Next, wandering from agenda and tendencies to, to gripe or to complain. Ayan na. You have to be tactful and refocus the group. So if you keep on anwala, hindi naman organize. From one agenda to another, nag-hopping, yun nga, wandering, di ba? Okay, so next one is we have the failure to set and end meetings on time. Mm-hmm. So, always indicate ending time for meetings and end as designated. I hope we will end this meeting or this activity tonight on time. Kasi nakalagay doon is 7 to 9. And I hope, if not, earlier than 9, di ba? Kasi sabi nila, if you are going to a lot of time, meaning it is more than enough. Yung estimation mo na yun. Unless otherwise, nirecord mo na yun, there is a pre-presentation, oh no, pre mga ganun. So, at least alam mo na. Um, Next one is lack of summary. Summarize decisions after each agenda item and at the end of the meeting, indicate time frames and responsibilities for allow or for follow through work. So yeah, these are poor, ano, these are poor, what do you call this one? 
quality of meeting. And the last one, last cause of poor quality meeting is lack of minutes. Okay? Use your flip chart. Yung pinakita kanina na ano, even the flip chart can be to, can be what? Can be used as your recording. Okay? Selectively record major actions and assignments. Distribute them in timely manner. Wag yung nandun na. Pwede ikaw yung mag-ano ngayon. Pwede ikaw ang magsulat ngayon. What if hindi siya ready? What if emotionally down siya? Nakikimiting lang, mga ganun. So, tendency, dahil sa iya, ang marirecord lang niya, hindi yung talagang kailangang marirecord. Okay. So, role. Naman, let's proceed with the role. Okay. As facilitator in discussion. So, your role as facilitator in a discussion will vary according to the kind of discussion and the kind of what? of group. In most discussions, however, the facilitator's job includes keeping the discussion focused on topic. Doon ka lang sa topic. Kung si segue ka naman, if you are going to have a tour a little, don't forget na bumalik. Okay? Make sure you can still go back. So, clarifying when something seems confusing and keeping everyone participating in a cooperative manner. So, to get things rolling, okay, these are the things that we have to consider. Mm. Everyone should what? Should know exactly what the discussion is about. Okay. So everyone should know. Hindi yung nandiyan. Uh, tapos salita ka na lang dyan ng salita. Okay. You are already giving instruction. Pero the thing is, do they really know? Are they aware of what you are talking about? Di ba? Next is give participants room to be involved. Okay. Keep your style low key. Dapat low key kilang hindi yung high standard ka na para ang hirap naman pakibagayan nitong facilitator na to and not highly directive di ba next one is be a model sabi niya doon set a relaxed open conversational tone for the discussion so at least you can allow them you can allow them to interact with you kasi facilitator nga di ba next is use questions to stimulate discussion how do we do this say for example sa ano oi sa tingin mo if ngayon nga, if we are going to facilitate, no? Bakit kaya? Hmm, bakit kaya yung ano, yung crackers, tinawag na crackers? Eh, wala namang crack. Diba? Parang mga ganun. I-ano mo lang, i-divert mo lang. And then later on, oo nga, no? Tapos gito ganyan. So, mayroon na silang mga question. Uh, and uh, ideas. And then it will what? It brings a live what? Discussion or sharing of ideas. Hindi yung, akin na lang to, bahala kayo dyan. If they are going to ask you, ano ka, BBM ka, Lenny Robredo ka, ano, yung mga ganun. Yung mga high, pero yun, debatable kasi yun eh. Debatable na naman yun. Hmm. Next one is, listing is a technique to generate what? Ideas or approaches. So, meaning to say, you have to go around the room, okay? Or to the place. Ask each person for a response. Pwedeng sabihin mo, o oh, ano, uh, Kaiser, sa tingin mo, okay ba itong program na to, ganyan-ganyan. Or if you are going to do like this and like that, pwede ba yun? Diba? Something like that. So, write things down also. Have a recorder taking notes on blackboard or flip chart. Kung ano yung sinasabi ko. Ano yung share ng each participant. Also, use humor to break tension or boredom. There are some, ano, yung mga public speakers na bigla na lang lumalabas yung humor, no? Hindi yung scripted, yung sabi nga doon, ilalagay nila doon, uh, joke tawa pero scripted siya kailangan mong tumawa kahit hindi naman nakakatawa yung sinabi mo just make sure actually a joke is different from humor kasi sabi nga nila if may sense daw yung sinabi mo na nakakatawa humor daw yon pero kung walang walang sense basta nakakatawa lang okay just to make people laugh yun joke daw yon okay uh, use your intuition in choosing what technique to use with what group okay since each in, uh, situation will be different. Lalabas na rin naman yan eh. If you are a speaker, you just don't know. Just stand there. Sometimes if you will speak before a crowd, nini-nervous na tayo, hindi na natin alam kung anong gagawin natin. But the natural thing will just come out if you are really a speaker. Okay. So next, we also have here. Okay. So going around the room, you have to ask each person for a response. Write things down. Okay. Have a recorder. Uh, taking notes on blackboard or flip uh, flip chart just to ano, uh, go back with that uh, idea a while ago. Uh, relate the discussion to immediate experience uh, experiences. 
huwag mo nang gamitin yung experience ng kapitbahay ninyo. Okay, kasi magiging chismis yan. If possible, first hand, your immediate experiences nyo na lang. Okay, if you can relate. Pero kung hindi naman kailangan i-relate, baka mamaya sabihin ng mga participants, eh ano naman, okay, share mo lang. <laughs> Something like that. Kaya minsan, sinasabihan na natin, SKL, or share ko lang. Gusto kong sabihin, alam nyo ba, ganito, ganyan, ganyan. Um, I had this experience na ganito, ganyan. If it's related to the topic, go on. Okay, so ito pa rin, you use your uh, humor to break tension and boredom. And then ito, use your intuition in choosing what technique to use with the group. Ito na yun. So, lalabas na lang din naman, magpa-pop up na lang yan. Okay? How about the ano, effective um, meeting procedures? So, these are the effective meeting procedures. Once the discussion is going full speed, First is, you have to equalize participation. How are you going to equalize the participation? It's not realistic to assume that what? The participation will be divided equally. But try to keep one or a few from dominating. You have to make it balanced. Dapat yan, okay? Kaya nga sanabi, equalize. Dapat fair. Okay? Stay on the subject. Your role will include reminding the group where the road is. Okay? So, dito ka lang kayo. Hindi yung binigyan nyo ng topic. The, the, the thing that they have to discuss is um, nalagay dito. Kung si BBM ang naging presidente, ano sa palagay mo ang gagawin niya sa Pilipinas? And then later on, ang mga lumalabas din na dun sagot, hindi ko naman siya binoto di. Dapat ganito ganyan. No. So, as a facilitator, you have to put them back to the track. Ito yung nandito na eh. Ito yung, ito yung ano dito. And then, sa kabila naman, if si Lenny Robredo ang naging presidente, do you think uh, magagampanan niya ang trabaho ng isang presidente uh, knowing that she's a girl or a lady? Then next, kung sino pa yung mga ibang presidential ball, Lacson, sino pa sila, Pacquiao and whoever. Uh, by the way, I am not, ano here, I am not promoting or endorsing politicians, no. It's just that yung, ano yung kwan, ano yung Um, what they call this one, ano yung hit or yan, napapanahon. Kasi alam naman sabihin ko yung sa klasiko na uh, ang topic namin is about sa research and we are looking like this, like that. Okay, that we can relate. Next is clarify and interpret. So when you clarify and interpret what has been said to make things clearer or to see if all are on the same wavelength. So titignan mo rin yan while you are going around. O oh, anong ibig nyo sabihin dito? Ano ang ibig sabihin niyan? Next is summarize. Okay, pull together various parts of the discussion and see what progress has been made. Also, set the pace, okay? Keep the group aware of how it's proceeding and when it's time to move on. So, dapat meron niyan hanggang hanggang sa ganitong time ha, dapat matapos tayo. And then, hindi yung ano tapos na yun, pero uusapan pa rin. Move on na, di ba? Something like that. Next is Process. When I say process, this is often the most important part of facilitator's role. Keep the group members working well together on independent what? Independent level. Okay. So, in continuation on how to have an effective what? Effective uh, meeting. Meetings are commonplace in our societies today. Yeah. It is very common. No? All of us have attended some kind of meeting. I'm not uh, going to ask you, naka-attend na ba kayo ng meeting? For sure, all of us, okay? All our members of what? Of these meetings are professional societies, civic organizations, okay, service clubs, and church. Since meetings are so frequent, one would expect them to be sources of great satisfaction and accomplishment. There are some people or participants na when they say, may nagsabi na, oh, may meeting time mamaya. There are some that are excited. Yung iba naman, hindi. Okay? So, but too often, the opposite is the case. Ito yun eh. Mention a meeting and you hear groans. Meeting na naman, wala naman nangyayari. Dapos ganyan, 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 ganyan. Bakit kaya ganun ang mga comments nila? Bakit kaya ganun? ba? Diba? As one person, you have to what? Put it, meetings, make one end, feel dumb, while the other end feels numb. Yung iba, ito naririnig ko ta sa iba yan, meeting na naman, nakaka, uh, 
nakakadumb, <laughs> 'di ba? Bakit sa English parang mas magandang ano pakinggan <laughs> kaysa sa Tagalog, no? Tapos yung isa naman, while the other end feels ano, nakakamanhid, oh, um, nakakamanhid na. So first, what is a meeting? Let us try to define what is a meeting. And second, how can we make them effective, satisfying and desirable? Yun yung dapat ano eh, to avoid this. These things here. You mention a meeting and you hear, oh, si meeting na naman, wala rin naman patutunguan. Mga ganon. Okay. So, defining a meeting, it is actually a gathering of three or more people sharing common objectives. And someone actually might add tongue-in-cheek or where an offering is picked up. Sometimes it's like that. Where communication is the primary means of achieving the objectives. When a meeting is when is a meeting um effective? Paano masasabi na the meeting is effective? You can say that if, okay? When it achieves its objectives in a minimum amount of time to the satisfaction of the participants. Para mas maganda 'yung ano no, pag may speaker, tapos na pala siya, tapos ay bitin, you will long for more. Kaya yeah, parang mas okay 'yung ganun kaysa 'yung wala na bored na ang participants. Mm. Here are two key of uh, two key words okay that need further development what are these we have the minimum and satisfaction it is at the minimum but then there is a satisfaction so start by evaluating a typical meeting you attend be it business church or pathfinder staff meeting and try to compare now let me ask everybody to please get your pen and paper if you have Uh, maybe I can give you 10 seconds to grab a pen and a paper because we are going to answering something here. Okay, we are going to evaluate. And then, so while others are picking their pen and paper, um, I would want you to think of an instance, a meeting. Okay, meeting. Be it kayo yung attendee or kayo yung nagpapameeting. Pwede ganon. Either way. Okay. Are we ready? Say amen kung ready na. So, so that I can is uh, 20 questions. Yes po. The, uh, we have 20 questions here. Let us evaluate the meeting that we attended or we are the one who facilitated. Okay, ready na ba? Can I hear amen? Amen. Amen. Okay, thank you. Ayan, thank you. So first, tana. By the way, you answer yes or no. Walang mali dito ah, yes or no lang. Hindi po kayo makukulong, walang makukulong dito. Okay, number one is, an agenda is prepared prior to the meeting. Yes or no? So think of a specific, hindi yung, ano, hindi yung pabago-bago. Next, meeting participants have an opportunity to contribute to the agenda. Meeting itong pinag-uusapan natin ha. Yes or no? Still yes or no? Number three, advance notice of meeting time and place is provided for those invited. It's just like you're saying, advance notice of rendezvous. Kasi pag sinabi natin, specific time and place, that is what we call a rendezvous. So it is provided. Number four, venue is comfortable and adequate for the number of participants. Yes, no. Siguro ngayon yun yung iniisip nyo, no? Kasi... Lately lang, kahit last year, virtual naman. Pero may mga nagpapa-face-to-face -face pa rin, pero distance. Social distancing. Okay? Hmm. Ito, na ano ba kasi virtual naman? Yes or no? Or think of yung face-to-face -face na meeting. Number five, the meeting begins on time. Hmm, the meeting begins on time. Yes? No. Number six, the meeting has a scheduled ending time. Yes? No. May schedule bang ending time? Meron? Wala? The use of time is monitored throughout the meeting. My timekeeper. The use of time is monitored throughout the meeting. Yes or no? Number eight. Everyone has an opportunity to present his or her view. Everyone has an opportunity to present his or her view view. Yung, kumbaga, okay, may ano kayo, may suggestion kayo, may ganito, may ganyan. Okay, number nine. Participants listen attentively to each other. 
eh, participants listen attentively to each other or mayroon bang nakahawak ng cellphone diyan sige bala ka diyan multitasking <laughs> that is good kung naintindihan yung sinasabi ng iba pero paano pag hindi wala ano yung ulitin sinasabi mo yun, yun lang there are periodic summaries as the meeting progresses that's number 10 Okay, next, number 11. Okay, number 11. No one tends to dominate the conversation. Wala nagdo-dominate. Yes or no? Or may nagdo-dominate? Number 12. Everyone has a voice in decisions made at the meeting. So everyone has a voice in decisions made at the meeting. At least sabi yung peace mo kesa forever you will keep. Number 13. The meeting typically ends with a summary of accomplishments. Yes or no? Number 14. The meeting is periodically evaluated by participants. The meeting is periodically evaluated by participants. Kumbaga, pag um Review of previous minutes. Tapos, ba't yung minutes natin nung ano or yung meeting natin nung ganito? It's not only periodically, no? at least may time na pag evaluate Number 15. People can be depended, okay, depended upon to carry out agreed upon actions. People can be depended upon to carry out agreed upon actions. Yes, no. 16. Fourth to the last. A copy of the minutes is provided to each participant as a follow-up. A copy. Were you able to receive? Kung virtual yan, pinakita ba or sinend ba via GC or email? Number 17. The leader follows up the participants on their assignments. The leader he follows up the participants on their assignments. Kung itong training na to ang in-evaluate niyo or itong meeting na to ang in-evaluate niyo, then why not? Number 18, the appropriate and necessary people can be counted on attending. The appropriate and necessary people can be counted on attending. Next, second to the last number, 19, the decision process used is appropriate for the size of group. Yes or no? Yes or no? Mm -hmm. Let's see. And last number, any audiovisual equipment used is in good working condition and does not detract from the meeting. So yes or no. Okay, done. Next, I want you to count kung ilan yung yes ninyo. Okay? And tignan nga natin. Let's have a sharing. Una kung ilan yung ano, isa-isa. And then... After counting, kung ilan yan, multiply it by 5. Okay, multiply it by 5. Okay. Sino sa atin dito ang nakakuha ng, um, they call this one, 80 and above. Yan, 80 and above, kindly unmute. Open your camera. Unmute yung mga 80 and above. Yan. Si Ma'am Melly, naka-80. Yes. Si Sir Kaiser, naka-80. Who else ang naka-80? 80 and above. 79.9. 79.9. <laughs> Paano mo na multiply? Walang ganun, sir. Dapat divisible by 2. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi ano, 5 no? Times 5 siya eh. Or divisible by 5. How about Ma'am Emeline? Kasi Ma'am Emeline, ilan ang score niya? I think most of the mentioned, you know, it are all part of the facilitation. So maybe I will say uh, 18. Or... Hey, ilan po yung naging score niyo, Ma'am? Nag-score po ba kayo? Nag-yes, no po kayo? Yes. Lahat ng binabanggit po ninyo, ma'am, parang yes sa akin. <laughs> yes sa inyo. Ay, wow. Bongga. <laughs> si, ano, Master Guide Solomon. Oh, beyond 80 din. Ano, 80 above din. Now, Kenneth. so if, oh, si Master Kenneth. Uh, Kenneth. 
Di ako sigurado sa ano eh sa apat. Aha. So um, ilan ang isip ko, ang, ko, sir? Ang nasa isip, ang nasa isip ko kasi ano uh, church board meeting lang. <laughs> <laughs> kaya kaya medyo hindi ako sigurado eh kasi naka-focus ang isip ko parang pang church board ito eh. Uh, pero mostly yes ako eh. Mm-hmm. Pero yung ano pag church board no. So oh, pero only, ano eh na, ano ang, ang 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 naka-mindset sa akin church board eh. Eh, eh ano pa talaga ang score mo? Kakaiba pag church board. <laughs> oh. Minsan eh, naguhulog pa na okay. eh. Say Kasi yes or no eh. sir. I mean yes, eh. yes amen. Oh, di times mo ay sa 5. Hmm. Ah, uh, ang times sa 5? Oo, oh, sir. Teka lang. Ah, uh, bago yung ko... apat, so 16 times 5. So, ilan 'yon? 33, 80. Oh, sakto 80. 'Yon, ganun. Yung iba doon, yung iba doon, hindi naman siya no, pero it needs further explanation. It needs further ah, okay. like or may ano may reason, ano ano pa may reason, may reason oh. naman kung bakit naging ganun, may reason naman. Oo. Oh. Tulad si for example, si 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 for example, ma'am, yung ano, yung uh, yung meeting na saan ba 'yon, yung number na yung may may time talaga na mag-end ng meeting. Eh, although meron namang usapan na halimbawa ang meeting ay 7 to 8 pero hindi kasi maiwasan na sa discussion kasi ang nasa isip ko nga talaga church board ang uh, nasa discussion ay eh, humahaba yung yung time kaya meron akong reservation pero kung halimbawa ano lang yung ang meeting ay let's say for example small group it has to end at the appropriate time so pwedeng yes or pwede din no kaya medyo ano ako eh Medyo hindi hindi talaga stick doon sa yes talaga. Mm-mm. So at least may reason no kung bakit nangyayari. So it only mm-hmm. means one thing that everything happens for a reason. Sabi nga doon yeah. sa Bible, come to me and let's reason, 'di ba? Sabi nga doon. So if your score is 80 and above, it indicates what? High quality meetings. Pero if your score is under 60, it indicates what? Room for improvement there should be a room for improvement. And, and all of us naman, we are here to what? To improve. Diba? Okay. So, after looking over um, over your answers above, um, here are a few solutions for common meeting problems to choose from. Okay? To enable your meetings to come closer to an idea. I, ideal meeting, excuse me. So, eto na yung mga yung meeting nyo. Ano. First is, we have How do you state your objective? This simple procedure establishes the reason for the meeting. All energy can now be directed toward it. So at least pag sinabi mo yung objective mo, di ba? Pag sinabi mo, okay, we are going to finish this one and then this are the agenda. Ito nilatag mo na lahat, pinakita mo na lahat. At least they are going to look forward to that. Pag nakita nila na sumisegue na yung chair, they could say, uh, Madam Chair or Sir Chair, Uh, point of order po. Ah, di ba? So, babalik na naman. Also, siguraduhin nyo that the agenda is prepared. Mm, kasi minsan kung hindi prepared ang agenda, this should be what? Uh, pag hindi nyo ito nakita, dangerous. Kahit ano na lang yung pag-uusapan ninyo. No? Wala kang outline, wala kang agenda. And it should be prepared in advance and handed out in advance. Pero karaniwan kasi sa atin ngayon, kung kailan yung meeting doon lang in- bibigay, tapos tingnan mo, babasahin mo. Instead na makapag-prepare ka pa, wala na. It's your roadmap, actually. The agenda is your roadmap. Everyone needs to know where they are going. Next is, have a minimum number of people. When you have a minimum number of people, so smaller numbers hold interest and increase participation. So, kokonte mas may ano kayo na mag-interact. You may have what? You may have to inform Um, some people, why they are not included. Kasi meron yung nasasabi, ba't sila lang yung nagbimiting? Ba't ako hindi ako kasali? May mga ganun ka. So you can inform them. Ito lang yung call group lang muna. Mga ganyan. Next is manage time. Okay? From beginning, going and through, strike a balance between wasting time and railroading. Sabi nga nila, okay, let us finish this and then after this, we can chat with each other or exchange our experiences, mga ganito, kumustahan, mayan. Okay, another one is take charge. Effective control and guidance are required. Encourage the what? Less active and control those who want to dominate. 
Diba? Sa meeting din, meron yung talagang salita ng salita. Sige, salita dyan. Mm. Meron din yung, o oh, ikaw, anong idea mo? Anong masasabi mo? Mga ganon, di ba? At least, you are giving uh, giving them uh, what? giving them room not only to to share the ideas but most especially to let them feel that they belong or they are part of the meeting then last one is what close the uh, close with a summary yun ang pinakamahalaga so recap kumbaga di ba recap of the meeting should end with a what restatement of the objective summary of the accomplishments and review actions that need to take place pwede yon Actually, Pastor Ken, I am actually um, thinking of our meeting sa council. Di ba? May time na isa pa lang yung agenda, agenda pa lang yung naan natin. Pero ang haba na, buong time na yung nakon, nakonsume. Kasi nagsasanga-sanga na siya. That's true. That's why sabi nga niya kanina, hindi ko masabing yes, hindi ko masabing no. Kasi there is a reason kung bakit nagkakaganon. Di ba? So, pwede natin ano doon, yung sinasabi nga natin na i-table natin. Okay. So, we have a meeting arrangement checklist dito. So, kung magpapamitin kayo ng face-to-face, -face, uh, is the room large enough comfortably accommodate the participants and planned audiovisual aids? Kung virtual naman, pwede mong tanungin na, okay, is it adequate yung ano, yung, kung halimbawa magpapamitin kayo ng marami, kaya bang i-accommodate yan? Mamamanage ba yan? Di ba? Is there adequate lighting and ventilation? Since it's virtual naman, sabihin mo, Okay. Uh, fine. Pwede mo i-instruct yung mga kausap mo or ka-meeting mo. Okay. Make sure that you can just grab a glass of water behind, uh, beside you or uh, may ventilation. Remind them about the protocol, something like that. No? Is the room free from distractions and interruption? So kung virtual naman, it's already your personal. Okay. Personal mo na yan. Kung ano. Pero pag face-to-face, -face, ito mga tanongin mo. Is the room conveniently located for the participants? Is the room available at the time you need? Uh, you need it. Etong numbers two to five actually. When we talk about virtual, is kung zoom ang isa accessible ba sa lahat? Accessible ba sa akin? Accessible ba sa iba nating kasama dito? mga ganon ba The reason why they came in late it's because they have a problem in in the internet connection or probably yung gadget na ginagamit nila dati ay in an emergency kailangan yon mga ganon di ba? Number six, are tables and chairs properly arranged for the type of meeting to be conducted? Again. Next, number seven. Mm -hmm. We are coming to an end. Uh, table name cards for participants. Yun ay if they are not well acquainted. Diba? Minsan nga, um, naglalagay tayo kung saan upo si ganito, saan upo si ganyan. Mm. Audiovisual equipment as required. Ito mga to. Chalkboard or flip chart, overhead projector, VCR, laptop, or yung tawag dito pang yung para makita yung lahat so oh, laptop o oh, powerpoint other or others specify number nine refreshments as appropriate okay di ba pag face to face ito meron at meron tong refreshment number ten scheduled breaks for meeting longer than one and a half hours so pag more than one and a half hours mag ano kayo dyan ng okay pwedeng uh, water break pwedeng bladder break mga ganyan kasi uh, there are some people na they really need to have a break. However, they don't want to miss a thing. Ayaw nilang may mamiss sila sa presentation mo. Di ba? So, most often time, yung ito, number uh, 11, all necessary materials available such as handouts, notebooks, paper, and pens. Available ba yung mga yan? Kung kailangan, baka nagpapa, nagbibigay ka lang, hindi naman kailangan. So, most often, we simply meet where customarily meet and we do not what, what is what to be done. Hindi yun ang inaan natin. Customarily lang inaan natin. That is often times. And most often, we have little choice or input into the arrangement for the meeting or perhaps, okay, never really thought about it enough to think of what might be done differently that would improve the meeting. Sometimes, ano tayo, nagiging monotonous tayo, no? Kung ano yung ginawa na lang last time, ganun pa rin. Instead of thinking of, um, tawag dito, yung nag-improve ba, mga ganyan, kung ano yung mga dapat at hindi na dapat. So, these are the checklists. So, before we end, uh, I would like to share to you a verse or uh, a key text found in Colossians chapter 4, verses 5 and 6. It says, Walk in wisdom toward them that are without redeeming the time. Let your speech be always with grace, seasoned with salt, 
that ye may know how ye ought to answer every man. Good evening and thank you for listening. Okay, at this juncture, thank you, Ma'am Michelle, for the very informative uh, topic tonight. And I would like also to, to share three, three words here. Preparation, orientation, and observation. What are the things to prepare? Mm -hmm. The place, the program, and the participants. What is the thing for yourself to be oriented of? You, you orient yourselves with the Robert, Robert's rules of order. When you, when you try to, uh, to, you know, to become the, the chair of a certain meeting, kailangan ang Robert's rules of orders ang iyong ipalaganap para may order ang, ang in and outs, ang deliberations ng isang meeting. Okay? Number three is, Observation. Try to observe Boy Abonda. Kung paano sila mag-facilitate, ha? Ito, mga, mga ano ito, mga experts na ito sa, sa media, media presentation. Boy Abonda. Karin Davila. Si Pinky Web. Ha? Tingnan nyo ang mga line of questioning nila. Napakagaling. At saka, they are not entertaining elaborations. Mm -mm. Kasi ang sabi ni Ma'am Dulay kanina, mayroon silang oras na nihinahabol. Oo, kailangan, inaano nila eh, uh, ginaguide nila ang kanilang audience, ang guest nila, ginaguide niya na magtumama sa mga oras na papatak sa isang programa nila na ang lahat na objective tatamaan at matapos ng mahusay. Itong mga tao kagaya ni Mel Chanco, si Karin Davila, Boy Abonda, at saka sino pa dyan, Pinky Web, magagaling sila mahusay talaga. Kayo naman siguro nanonood kung paano sila mag-facilitate lalo na ngayong uh, ano mag-i-eleksyon. Maraming mga pinapacilitate nila ng mga politiko. Lalo na si Karin Davila. Okay? Talagang very striking. At kung minsan, kung pikon ka, mapipikon ka kay Karen. Di ba? Kasi ang mga line of questioning niya, may mga, may kunting pabahid eh. Mayroong kunting haplas na... Patama. <laughs> may patama ba? Di ba? Okay? Kaya nga, uh, pero sa atin naman ay iba naman sa atin kasi sa kanila, more of... Uh, po political sila eh political and social social political ang kanilang hinahawakan eh sa atin naman ay iba ang ating uh, iba ang ating uh, uh, focus at ang mga target ng mga tao okay so those are three three words prepare orient and observe okay so we are now in the time of uh, interaction and uh, inquiry question along the lines of presentation by Ma Michelle. If you have some questions and clarification, this is now the time you know, for you to, to ask. Okay? Is there anybody from the floor, from, the, from, uh, from our meeting? Mayroon bang katanungan dyan? You need to comply, everyone. Master Guide Solomon. Oh, mag, mag ano na ako ha, magtatawag na ako ha. Yes, that's right and that's good. Uh, magpapasisi, ipapasisi, <laughs> yes, they always they ko na, ipapasilitate ko na. Sir Nimrod, they always na wanted to uh, ano, to uh, sir, ano, okay. okay sir, tanong ko lang. Yes, yes. May pagkakaiba ba yung moderator at saka facilitator? Uh, may pagkakaiba ba? Eh, sa pangalan pa lang, sa litra pa lang, oh. may <laughs> Ma'am Melly, siguro pwede pa unpin ako para yung nagsasalita ay makikita rin. Okay. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Spotlight kami, spotlight. Uh, yeah. Ayun, nagsasalitang ipakita muna ngayon. Spotlight. Unpin spotlight. muna ako, ma'am. Yan ang presentation Ayan. skills dapat ni Ma'am Melly. Kung sino yung salita, show up. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Basta mag-i-unpin mo lang yung mga ano, ma'am. Okay. 
So, yun, yun yung yun. question ni ni Master Guide Ma- Solomon, moderator and facilitator. May pagkakaiba ba? Sabi nga ni Master Guide Nimrod, oo, sa spelling pala at saka sa salita pala may pagkakaiba na. Kasi when we say moderator, parang sa debate, you have to stand at the center. Di ba? You have to stand at the center na wala kang sasaydan talaga. As a facilitator naman, ikaw yung magbibigay ng uh, tawag dito, ikaw yung magbibigay ng activity, ikaw yung mag sa kanila. Make sure na gagawin nila yon. Pero sa moderator kasi, hindi mo alam eh kung ano yung sasagot ng isa eh. Hindi mo alam eh. So, iaano mo lang na hindi talaga sila magsasabong. Yun yung karaniwan na role ng moderator. While in the facilitator, although nandun din na hindi rin magsaside, however, you have to make it a point that the participants are in the road. Kaya nga sabi, laging sinasabi kanina, binabanggit kanina na they have to stay on the road. Hindi yung nag, kung saan-saan nagsisegway sila or nagagaliban tingnan. ba diba? Ang moderator naman, eh, ano kayang sasabihin nito na next? Okay. Hindi rin siya magsaside, di ba? Ayun po. Kasi, di ba kapag sa lesson natin, laging binabanggit, ano yung the best sabihin? Ano, sa lesson, ano ba? Ano yan? Ah, alam natin. Agad sina- yung sinasabi na kasi, yes, sir, yung panel discussion. Moderator, yung moderator, hindi facilitator. So, ibig sabihin, kapag kayo moderator, sabi ko na, is, is more on debate. Di ba? Mm-hmm. Pero kapag facilitator, meron sa specific topic na hindi facilitate ka lang. So, anong pwede natin gamitin? Pag ganyan, moderator siya o facilitator? Mas okay po ang facilitator. Okay. Ah, so hindi na moderator. Sa pantanong, sa pa po. Okay. Ang isa pang facilitator, ay pwede ba siyang mag-facilitate sa bawa? May sabi ko na may sa training, di ba? Sa presentation. Pwede niya bang, pwede bang mag-facilitator sa training at isimple sa presentation ang facilitator? Pwede. pwede naman po. Pwede naman po. Basta alam niya ang role. So, if we will go back, yung pinakita ko kanina yung difference among the three, yung training, yung presenter, at saka facilitator. Kung siya ay facilitator and at the same time ay trainer, kung kaya niya pag-mixin yun, why not? Basta may kita point na clear sa kanya kung ano yung tinatayuan niyang role. Kung facilitator siya, so you have to, uh, to facilitate, magpa-facilitate ako dito. Kasi uh, oftentimes we, we mix. Sabi nga din doon kanina na we can actually use either of the two or sometimes we even use. Uh, it's very seldom yung ano eh, magpa-facilitate ka at the same time presenter ka. It's seldom yun kasi sa facilitator, you are going to have an interaction parang ganito. Sa presenter kasi hindi, magpipresent ka, that's it. Wala nang question and answer, di ba? And kung sa present, presenter and then trainer, pwede yun eh, pwede yun. Pero limited, limited po yun. Lalo na pag ang present niya is, say for example, uh, ang present niya is how to do the how to do the cooking. Ganito, lalo na pag alam na ng mga audience or participant, okay, wala na silang tanong. Diba? Pero pag sinabi mo, how to do the nut tying, itetrain mo sila, na, present mo, ito, ang gawin na natin sa nut tying. Pag, okay. ano, so, magpa-facilitate ka na rin. Di ba? Kasi, oh, ito ang gawin mo. Yes. Pwede mag-mimix din po. Opo. So, it still depends on the situation. Yes. Kaya yun na sabi rin kanina doon, it depends. So, if you are really, shall I say, <coughs> open-minded ka or yung mabilis ang pag-iisip mo, yung sabi ka ng Sir Salazar, tingnan niyo yung mga binanggit niyo mga pangalan, Actually, wala sa script niyo iba doon eh, ng mga tanong nila eh. Di ba? Ang hinahangang ko doon sa mga na-mention ni Sir Salazar kanina, si Boy Abunda eh. Napaka ano ng thinking niya, napaka bilis. Oo, ang bilis. Kung baga, lalabas na lang dyan. Yun yung ano doon, uh, Master Guide Solomon. So, pwede. Pwedeng mag-mix yung mga yun. Okay. So, ibig sabihin talaga, yung facilitator, isa skill talaga to. Palagang ano yes. talaga dapat. Okay. Yeah, tinitrain talaga ito upang ito ay ma-adapt ng mga leader. Kasi sa pano natin, kailangan, kailangan natin ngayon, di ba? So, bisan kasi nakikita natin uh, sa mga venue ng mga lecture, di ba? O sa mga seminars, may mga present, uh, nagpipresent. Nakikita ko kasi, di ba, may talagang facilitator talagang tumatayo. Di ba, pagkatapos ng lecture, ang, ano, ka, uh, ang ino-open nila, sabi rito, oh, meron kayong mga tanong. Diba? So, ibig sabihin talagang malawak ang role ng isang facilitator. So, dapat marunong kang mag-handle to control the audience or the members of the certain meeting para ito ay magiging maayos. Kasi may alam ko kasi ng value of facilitator. Eh. Kasi based kasi doon sa na tinan namin kasing seminar, then based sa facilitation, 
yung facilitator may values din dapat panghawakan. Kasi na alam ko na ko kasi dapat respect, dapat may respect siya. Mm-hmm. Di ba? Kasi sabi nga kanina yo, kung nagsasalta ka ng mga joke-joke na out of line or out of topic, mm-hmm. hindi ka kapani-pani. Walo kaya nag uh, mag- magbibigay ka lang ng mga adlib, kinukuwento mo nga yung nangyari sa chisme sa kapit bahay mo para mag misan yung respeto ano nawawala at yung pangalawa dapat meron siyang empowerment din siya ibig sabihin kapag nagsalita di ba dapat kapani-paniwala hindi lang basta-basta pabiro-biro at the same time meron yung yung paano yung makuha yung participation ng mga audience di ba kaya kayo na din sa mga kayo na dapat talagang yung role model ay dapat nakikita sa kanya Last, sabi rito, kailangan nyo siya. Inclusiveness and professional responsibility. Ito'y napakahalaga. Kaya sabi nga ni Sir, ano kayo na, ni Sir Nimrod, di ba? Yung mga kilala nating mga uh, media personalities, napakagaling nila. Talagang professional dating. Bakit? Kasi one time kasi umatin ako sa ganyang mga talk show. Ang nakita ko lang ay scripted yung kailang mga tinatanong. Hindi katulad natin kapag tayo ay nag-facility talaga sa isang lecture, talaga on the spot. Mm-hmm. Di ba? E si Sir Nimrod, di na kailangan ng scripted yan. Kahit sabi, kadalo sa first aid, kahit natutulog yan, itanong mo sa kanya, sinasagot niya eh. Kasi kabisado niya yung topic. Mm-hmm. Di ba? So, sa atin kasi, kaya sabi nga, dapat talaga ito ay inaalam talaga ng maigi as a facilitator upang madaling maunawan at maka-adapt based sa topic na dinidiscuss sa mga Uh, inatin natin mga lecturer na yan. At the same time, ma-practice natin to as a leader, not only for pathfindering, but for our church right now. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, okay. <coughs> I will add something, no? Now, in our in our ministry, marami tayong mga issues na hinaharap. Issues, ha? Issues. At iba sa kanila ay mga controversial issues. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga, kung mag-facilitate ka sa mga controversial issues, kailangan magbasa ka muna. Magbasa ka sa issue. For example, I'll give you one, one very hot uh, issue. O, uh, women's ordination. Huh? Grabe ang women's ordination yan. Matagal na na, 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 ano yan, na issue na hindi pa na-resolve hanggang ngayon sa general conference. And, at ang ating church, medyo nagkawatak-watak ng ating church dyan. Yes. Huh? Yung ibang churches ay hindi na sumusunod sa uh, liderato ng ating general conference. Yes. Nag-ordain na sila ng women sa kanilang uh, uh, respective na mga area. Okay? So kung ganyan ang mga issue na dinadala mo, kailangan magbasa ka muna ng malalima na pagbasa kasi makot in the spot ka dyan, baka mawala ka sa passing. Kasi ang mga tao, remember na ang mga tao na mag- nagsasalita dyan, may mga dala yan. Yes, kargado yan. Tarong. Kargado yan. Oh. At hindi lang isang isang punto ano? ang ano yan, mayroong pasunod-sunod yan. Yes. <laughs> Tuloy-tuloy yan chain of uh, chain of reaction eh, ang dinadala yan. Questioning ang ginagawa nila eh. Oh. The other, pero totoo siya alam nila isang pero tinatanong pa lang sir. Yes. Hmm. So, so ikaw ikaw rin kung if you are an honest facilitator that our audience ma-facilitate mo sila na maka-derive sila sa tamang conclusion base sa paniniwala ng ating iglesia, magbabasa ka rin sa guidelines or mga code of ethics or kung ano ang mga uh, ang ang mga bagay na hinuhold ng ating iglesia. Hmm? So ganyan ang mga ano natin. Okay? Some more question. Okay, uh, Sir Nimrod, regarding the uh, word moderator at sa facilitator. Uh, mostly sa facilitator talaga, you are conducting the uh, program to facilitate Then, doon sa being a moderator, that is only uh, parang uh, giving an intention for the first part of the program. You, you are presenting the, uh, the uh, title of the program, the, uh, the uh, leaders from the program. So that's why you are moderating the program. So mm-hmm. sometimes, 
Uh, yan ang part ko sa mga churches. Uh, actually, during the IS training program in PLA, we have an, uh, uh, was this the first uh, convention, Masagayt IS convention. And then ako yung pinaka-moderator, hindi ako yung facilitator. So kabadong-kabado ako nung kung ano gagawin ko being a moderator. And I don't know what to do. What is the best to do? So that's why I pray. And then, After that, sinabi sa akin ng mentor ko si uh, Masagad Henry Setandans, uh, if you remember, we have a topic about the methods of facilitation, so uh, including the meeting procedures. Ayun nga. And then you are going to present, you are as a moderator, not facilitator. So, so parang binigyan niya sa akin ng part ay parang may clue lang to give some information about the happiness from the program. So, yun yung pagiging moderator. Kaya, misan, dito sa program natin, misan nasasabi ko, oh, ikaw ang moderator, ikaw ang moderator. Hindi ko sinasabing facilitator. Kasi, when I say facilitator, you are going to the whole program to uh, to present yourself para makita ka doon, magsasalita ka doon, something for the program. Pero moderator, parang sa Tagalog, taga panguna ka lang muna or taga pangulo ka ng isang gagawing activity. Ikaw lang yung nagpasimula. So that's uh, all I know about the uh, moderator and facilitator. Okay. Uh, good insight, uh, Master Guide uh, Marasigan. Now, let's move to another uh, uh, Ma'am Master Guide Emilyn. Ma'am hey. Emilyn, your time to share. Yes, sir. Sir, my question is, is these three words are synonymous. Una, sir, yung moderator, facilitator, and another one is the master of ceremony. Actually, I have experienced these three, these three, what's this, uh, role. And I think uh, during the time na nag, nag master of ceremony ako, nag facilitator ako, nag moderator ako, uh, my stress Sir, kasi parang nasa sa'yo yung, yung hawak mo yung flow, yung flow ng discussion, yung flow ng, show, ng, ng program, tapos yung, yung flow ng discussion. Kaya sabi ko, is, is this three synonymous, sir? Kasi nga, no. parang yung responsibility is really very big. Kasi parang, parang ikaw yung mahawak ng timon, sir, sa ikaka ikaka-achieve ng objective ng certain uh, ano uh, program na hinahandle mo. Kaya, sir, that's yung, my question. Are yung, this, yung, this is synonymous? Yung tatlo yan, lahat sila humahawak ng timon yan. Yung tatlo yan. Humahawak ng timon yan. Pero, pero iba, iba iba ang kanilang paggalaw. Uh, kagaya ng master of ceremonies okay ang master of ceremonies one one way traffic lang yan uh -huh. siya ang master of ceremonies eh. nagbibigay lang siya ng mga info at saka mm. program parts walang interaction dyan na masunod lang ng lahat ang flow of order master of ceremonies yan but when you when you move to another role as Moderator and facilitator na discuss natin kanina, nag-iiba na ang ating uh, iba na ang ating uh, galaw diyan. Mayroon na kasing mga mayroon na kasing mga audience participation na 'yan. At saka yung ano. So, pag master of ceremonies, mamasterin mo lang yung flow sequence flow of the program. Wala ka nang problema diyan. Oh, at ang mga taong ano Siyempre, may, may guide ka naman eh. So, yung, ang guide, that is your life. Mm -hmm. Sa Masters of Ceremonies, ang guide mo is your life. But before the launching of the, the program, ang lahat ng mga taong na involved kailangan na meeting mo na yan. Mm -hmm. Master of Ceremonies, ang organist, ang chorister, kailangan mayroon kang uh, ano, uh, orientation sa kanila a few minutes or a few hours before the launching of the, the whole meeting, ikaw na master of ceremonies, na ano na, na, ano na muna sila, na-orient mo na sila, baka may mga kunting pagbabago, okay, aware din sila lahat para wala, walang gap, 
o walang gap sa uh, ano natin para hindi magkakamali ang mga pangalan ng mga tao, yung in charge sa PowerPoint. Many times dito sa PIC, uh, iba ang mukha, iba ang pangalan. Uh, so, mag, mag ano yan, magre-react ang audience nun. Hmm. But, itong sa facilitator at saka sa moderator, iba na, iba na naman. Okay? Additional, sir. I think being a moderator, you are being in charge of the discussion of the certain topic being discussed. But in a facilitator, I think you are being in charge of the flow of flow or the process of the discussion. Uh, gina, sa, facilita sa fa facilitator, ginaguide mo ang mga audience. And participants. On, ang mga participants na, ma na maabot nila ang inyong uh, objective. For example, may project sila dyan. Ginaguide mo sila. Uh, Nag-hasik ka ng mga guidance kung ano dyan na at a certain time, makatch nila talaga ang, ang anong good answers. Uh, okay. Ang good project. Sa moderator, sa moderator nag ano ka lang nagpapasa nag in and out ka lang pinaprocess mo lang kanila mga interactions sometimes you you are also making some comments no ay nasa gitna ka lang nag left and right lang ang ang ano mo oo pero doon as a facilitator iba ang role doon talagang you will be trying hard to really make your your participants no Uh, na maintindihan nila ang ginagawa nila at ano ang mga proseso para makuha nila ang objective mm -hmm. ng kanilang endeavor ng ilang ginagawa. Okay. Mm. Thank you, sir. Yes. Uh, Thank you. Uh, singit lang tayo before we end up this uh, program kasi si Master Gaiden sila ay nag-ask ng permission to leave after the 10 minutes. Uh, bibigyan natin siya ng uh, pagbasa ng ating uh, Certificate of Appreciation. Okay, yes, habang inahanda okay. ko, you can uh, ano pa, mag-handle pa, Sir Limlon. Yes, uh, some more. Uh, si Kwan, si Kaiser, Master Guide Kaiser. Your time, Kaiser. Yes po. Actually, uh, I'm more interested on the conflict resolution or something more kapag uh, meron ng sumabog during the meeting, which is very much typical kapag uh, tayo ay naikipag-deal with the uh, So many leaders in our group, you know, pagka nag-ipon-ipon ng mga leader, gusto sila lahat ng magsasalita. No? So I have uh, two items that I'd like to um, ask for your um, information as well um, or inputs. Uh, how do we deal with, number one, people who dominate the meetings? No? Especially yung talagang merong mataas sa position. And uh, you are just below them. <laughs> so during the meeting, medyo ma mahangin at malakas ang kanyang aura. So how do we handle no? uh, people dominating the meetings? Number two, um, even if we do have uh, timekeepers in the meeting, mayroon talagang instance na due to the urgency na kailangan nating i-address yung agenda, mayroon talagang time na nag spill out no? or nag spill over yung meeting. So um, how do we handle as well yung mga spillovers ng meetings? And uh, how do we um, keep it uh, controlled kapag ka tayo ang facilitator? Okay. Ayun po. Yung okay. So, process. yun ngayon ang inquiry. Mayroon bang uh, mga ano dyan? Uh, Ma'am Dulay, sino pa dyan sa inyo? Let's uh, discuss. Let's interact. Okay. Yes. Let me share my piece po kasi nag-ask ako ng two minutes pa kasi may, we have an orientation in a while. Nine o'clock daw po. So, um, pag ako yung nasa situation na, Sir, ano, um, sir Kaiser, normally ang ginagawa ko, I have this principle in mind. Lagi ko sinasabi yung principle, yung I must increase, I, I must decrease, you must, in, ano, you must increase. So, iniisip ko na lang itong taon to pag ano, yung, yung instead na ano yung mo, na ako naman, mga ganun. If you have that talent na kung kaya mo siyang i- Ganun na. So, ano yung gusto mo mangyaring ganito, mga ganyan? Instead na babarahin mo siya, you can actually, as a facilitator, you can actually tell na, okay, let's ask the, ano, let's ask the opinion of, ano, si ganito, si ganyan. At least, hindi mo yung directang sinabi, o oh, mamaya ka naman, give, give chance to others, o oh, baka may idea naman kayo. Yung mga ganun ba? So, in that instance, at least, maano mo yung, yung kwan ng room, 
mababalance mo siya. So instead na sabihin mo lang na siya naman, di siya nagsasalita, puro ikaw ang nagsasalita eh. Medyo maano yan sila, yung respect nila towards you, maano yun, maa-at risk. So yun yung isang kailangan mo ano yun talaga as a facilitator. Yun nga you have to be equipped. Yun nga yung sabi nga ni Sir Nimrod kanina, dapat talagang kargado ka rin. Di ba? Kung halimbawa may sinabi siya na ano, lagi niya sinasabi tapos siya na naman ang nagsalita mga ganito. So how will I stop this person or how will I divert na iba naman yung magsasalita? Di ba? Which is very true may mga ganyan talaga na lalo na pag alam natin na ito kasi ito na naman yung taong ano, ang tagal magsalita. Tapos kaya ganyan, di ba? So, if we already know that person, then we already know how to, uh, hindi naman sa attack, how to facilitate that person. Yun po. Okay. Now, napanood ba ninyo yung Presidential Balls Debate 2016? Nandoon si Duterte, si, si Rojas, si Santiago, si, si, ano, si yung babae. Si, si, po. Si, si, po. si Senator Po at saka si Binay. Ah, yan. May mga oras lahat yan. Ang kanilang microphone kontrolado kasi pag lumampas, kapatayan ka. Now, lalo na ngayon, eleksyon sa ating iglesia. Ha? Kailangan as, uh, as, ano, as uh, chairman, okay, mayroong mga kasapi dyan sa nominating committee, for example, na mabuka yan at gustong idodominate ang oras. Mm -hmm. Kailangan isiset mo kaagad ang rules. Bago kayo mag-meeting, sasabihin kaagad ang rules. Rules of the meeting. May babasahin kang rules of the meeting. But besides that, mayroong mga tao na hindi magpapaawat. Kaya nga ang isang meeting, mayroong mga sergeant at arms. <laughs> Tatandaan niyo yan, may sergeant at arms yan. Mayroon kang i-request ng mga tao na ipapasipay yung tao na hindi magpapaawat. Kasi may mga tao talaga na hindi nagpapaawat eh. At uh, kung ikaw ang chairman, i-ano mo, i-neutralize mo ang domination by uh, getting some hands na hindi laging nag nag nagsasalita. Kuha ka naman ang participation. For, like, for example, i-neutralize mo ang gender, gen gender equality. So kung mayroong tatlong lalaking nagsalita na away lago, tugbangan mo rin ang tatlong babaeng nagsasalita para ma ma mapakinggan mo rin, lalo na kung ang isyo ay about gender equality, kagaya ng ord uh, women's ordination, mapakinggan mo ang mga both sides. Okay? Ganon ang ano natin. So kailangan, for example, sa ating uh, iglesia ngayon, Uh, election ngayon kailangan for example uh, board of trustees ng AUP as chairman alam mo ang uh, constitution and bylaws of AUP alam mo yan kasi mayroong nagkukot sila eh naririnig ko nagkukot sila kinukot nila ang mga bylaws how do you know kung ang mga quoting nila ay tama yan baka may, may tinitwist sila na mga words at nag-iba na ang, ang mga meaning. So, kailangan nag, nagbasa ka talaga ng mga kwan. Tapos, ang Robert's Rules of Orders, kabisado mo. Kabisado mo. At isiset mo ang rules kaagad. Na kung ikaw ay katatlo ka nang magsalita, give, give time, no, chance to others to, to speak. Huwag ka lang lagi. Lalo na uh, at lalo pa kanina na feeling inferior ka dahil ang mga audience mo ay mga presidente ng mga missions and conferences, the fact na you were given the chance to become the chairman of the meeting, mayroon kang blanket authority binibigay sa iyo. So you exhaust. I-exhaust mo yan ang blanket authority na nasa iyo at panindigan mong sarili mo dyan. Na, na hindi ka i road ng mga tao in a good way, of course uh, para ma, ma ano sila so, yung sinabi ko kanina na preparation is a must preparation at saka i-orient mong sarili mo sa mga materials at saka kung, for example nagmi-meeting na, nagmi ka for example, sa church ka 
nagmi-meeting ka, it's good na ahead of time na padala mo na ang agenda mo at ang mga materials na kanilang studyhan. Hindi lang na on the spot lang mismo ibibigay mo. They don't have time to study the material. Mas maganda para may magandang interaction, ipadala mo ang material ahead of time, one week before before the meeting, nandoon ang agenda sa kanila na pag-aralan na nila 'yon. Mm. Then igaguide mo sila using the Robert's rules of order during the meeting. Setting the rules, okay? Uh mayroon pa bang ma- masasabi diyan? Nag-add lang uh, ako sir ng isa pang uh, item no. Um dun sa checklist na, na binigay ni Ma'am Michelle Karina yung may mga yes or no ganyan. Uh, sorry ay ano, I experienced handling or yeah, handling a meeting or being in a meeting na dun sa questions lahat 'yon yes, no. Um, ako kanina, yes yes kanina hmm. ang sa akin eh. Yeah. Lahat siya Ideal, yes. Ideally, ideally. No? Sa mm. aking mind, yes, lahat yun. But there are circumstances na you are come short of the reality. Hindi na sa yes. Yes. No na siya. <laughs> mm. yeah, um, well, kagaya ng binanggit po natin kanina, di ba? Merong, uh, merong time na kailangan natin i-address yung isang issue and then yung allotted time natin hindi pa sa enough just to discuss and get the information that we need. But uh, citing an example po na yes talaga lahat, no? Um... I was able to attend a meeting with the board of directors sa isang uh, company where, uh, sa client na hinahandle namin and uh, everything was ano everything is planned including yung yung date, yung materials, yung mga tao na magbibigay ng inputs and the decisions that are being set in motion, lahat po 'yon malinis, no? And then lahat din documented and uh, afterwards yung accountability po ng lahat ng attendees or especially yung mga people na uh, kailangan ng action or yung merong nakatag na action items, meron silang natatanggap na email o oh, ito yung napag-usapan natin. The next time na magmi-meeting tayo, mag update tayo kung ano na yung nangyari sa progress natin. So, yun po yung example ng ano ng isang magandang meeting. Though hindi siya kagaya ng... Uh, Kagaya ng binanggit ni Kuya Kenneth kanina na small group meeting, hindi siya kagaya ng small group meeting na masaya yung ano, na oy, ikaw sa mga kayo dyan. No? But uh, it's more like um, directed, no? planned well na eto tayo. No? Um, sharing on the business perspective kasi, uh, we we uh, consider time as equivalent to money. Yes, yes, so yes, kung, that's kung true. Hindi, kung hindi mo gagamitin yung oras ko sa matinong oras or i, I Tatawagin mo ko sa meeting tapos pauupuin mo ko ng isang oras na walang kwenta yung isang oras. Sayang yung kinita ko ng isang Correct. oras. Correct. Correct. Dahil sa iyo. Yun. Yes. So, yes. <laughs> yun po yung ano natin. Da, da, kaya nga yung sa mga sa mga business world. Sa kanila pag sinabi mong 7 to 8 ang meeting, they really they really observe that one, 7 to 8. At magmumormor yan pag mag-exceed ka doon. Oh. Magsasalita tayo talaga sila yan kasi time for them is precious. Kaya nga, i-ano mo talaga sila, isatisfy mo sila na within the period of 7 to 8, ang lahat ng mga objectives mo, makukuha mo. Kaya nga, wala, wala ng elaborations eh. Talagang direct, ano yan, bullseye lahat yung binabato. Bawat words na lumalabas sa mga taong participants sa decision making, bullseye lahat yan. Walang adlibs. Walang adlibs. Uh, so, si, si Kaiser, dahil exposed siya sa uh, business world na ano na niya yan, uh, in, in comparison to our exposure dito sa ating church, uh, medyo malayo. Malayo ang malayo ang ang practice. <laughs> malayo ang practice malayo kasi talaga. maraming ano, no? So, yun ang pagkakaiba kasi ibang atmosphere. Eh. Ibang atmosphere. Lalo na sa church board. Sa church board natin. Okay. Sige, sa more, uh, sa more uh, uh, si Pastor Kenneth. Mayroon pag ang tanong si Pastor Kenneth? Uh, wala, na pa, wala naman po akong tanong. I uh, just want to share um, yung mga experiences ko and observations. Pero hindi lang po ako magbabanggit ng pangalan. Oh, kasi mahirap yun magbanggit ng pangalan. 
Um, nabanggit kasi kanina ni Ma'am Michelle yung ano uh, yung Pastor Ken. Sasabihin yes, mo sasabihin mo lang ang milagro, wag lang Santos. Yeah, no, tama po. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nabanggit po kanina kasi ni Ma'am Michelle kanina na uh, during sa meeting doon pa lang nag-abot ng agenda items which is uh, I literally experienced that no na kumbaga pati yung lugar ayoko lang banggitin baka mahalata ninyo na eh kung sang church <clears throat> pero yun ang yun ang traditional for many years na ginagawa yun ang ginagawa during church board so when we came to when we came to that church kumbaga sabay kami ng aking senior pastor na Uh, na install doon sa church na yan uh, we we reverse the process kumbaga din na namin sa tama before uh, we po, before um, before dealing with the agenda items of uh, the following the church bo- uh, uh, from kumbaga yung church board meeting schedule prior to that prior to that sabat nagkaroon muna kami ng elders council so lahat ng mga na lahat ng mga agenda items ay inscrutinize na muna namin sa elders council then the church the, the next sabat which which would be the church board ay smooth na yung ano yung yung ano so no no major agenda items ang i, i, i accommodate during sa proper church board uh, liban na lang doon sa naaprubahan ng elders council so merong mga like informations mga minor na madali lang aprubahan na hindi kailangan discussions na accommodate pa yan pero tama yung sinabi ni Ma'am Michelle kanina na never talaga na mag-accommodate ng mga agenda items ibig sabihin it's lack of preparation talaga so yun lang ang gusto kong ma-share okay uh, what's up tapos na tapos na okay thank you very much Okay, uh, ang ating pong, uh, last session ay sa susunod po na Webes, yun ang pinakahuli, na magkakaroon tayo ng ganitong uri ng pagtalakayan. But before that, uh, we have a visitor here. Meron tayong isang visitor, si, si Ma'am Penny kanina, uh, nakikita ko. Penny nas, ba yun? Naspatan ko kanina, pero uh, during the deliberations, nag, uh, babanggitin ko sana, pero wala na eh. Ah, okay. Pag, pag ano kung wala na siya. Yes, yeah, tinext ko kanina si Ma'am Bigga Priya yon. Ma'am Penny, yeah. Ah, okay. Ah, uh, ngayon po ay meron tayong uh, last part ng ating uh, session which is the uh, the last topic, ano? Ito po yung tinatawag nating article for publication, uh, writing goods article. So, ah, uh, ito po yung huli nating gagawin talakayin. Pero bago po 'yan, ah, uh, ipapakita ko muna sa inyo. Pwede ba makita sa screen, Ma'am ano, ma Meli? Sure, sir. Go ahead. Sabi ko po, ganyan po. Pagka nagsasalita na yung, ano, yan ang agad ipapakita mo. Okay. So, nakikita niyo po do? Nakikita yes, niyo po? Yes, sir. Miss Pa. Okay. So, this one is Miss Pa. Dated uh, 2000 something. Okay. Uh, 2000 ano ito? 2007 na and then I have one more here meron para may ako ritong miss pa this one is also nakikita po miss pa yes sir okay so hi Ted uh, during ano sa time na yan ako ay nasa training ng ating mga PLA at saka ng ating APLA So sa PL sa APLA namin, medyo pinahirapan ako noon. Uh, hindi naman talagang pinahirapan, ako nahirapan talaga ako no, kasi wala akong idea sa pag-aapla noon eh. Now, uh, meron ako dito ang papakita sa yung article of for publication na uh, article ng publication na ako mismo yung uh, gumawa ng article para sa reporting diyan sa MISPA. About uh, nakikita niyo yung pangalan ko? Uh, medyo okay. sir Ronnie yeah, Lopi, yeah. okay. sir, malabo, malabo. Ay, ay, ay. Okay. Ay, malino na mata mo, ha? Ayan, ha? Ayan, ayan, ayan. Okay. okay, and this one, ayan, article ko rin yan, ano? Ayan. Okay, so ngayon, anong pinupunto ko rito? Hindi ko na yayabang yan kasi activity ko yan, eh. Ngayon, uh, since ang topic natin sa next meeting ay article for publication, 
ito yung ating uh, pag-uusapan about writing good articles, no? So ngayon, etong buong session natin, uh, siguro gagawa tayo ng ng activity, ng reporting na gagawin nating article, write up. Uh, uh, write up. Lalagay natin sa isang band paper. Na katulad ng pinakita ko sa inyo. Kasi sa ngayon, hindi niyo sa maipuputap sa mga MISPA, sa CLC lights, everything. So para magaring magkaroon kayo ng article, gagawa kayo sa isang band paper o dalawang band paper kasi ng akin isang binigyan lang. Sa FB, pwede sa FB. Binigyan lang ako ng isa. Ganito lang. Tapos 'yan. Tapos uh, ayusin niyo. Pero bago bago ninyo gawin 'yan, kailangan muna matapos yung session natin itong buong session na ginawa natin sa APLA. So, ang next topic natin ay article for publication, writing goods article. So, ang magdi-discuss po nito ay ang ating pong buting uh, uh, moderator, si uh, Sir Nimrod. So, di-discuss niya kung paano yung paggawa ng isang article. Hindi yung basta makasulat ka lang, makareport ka lang. There are... Uh, many understanding in the article na kailangan nating ano bakit tayo gumagawa ng article paano natin gagawin natin anong ilalagay sa article everything nandoon so ile-lecture yan ni Sir Nimrod Salazar yun yung ating last topic na gusto ko sana ng maatinan ninyo kasi kailangan natin yan sa sa guidance sa atin kasi tayo mga leader tayo since a club director di ba club director tayo Nagkakaroon tayo ng uh, journal report sa ating church. Nasubukan na ba ninyong gumawa sa church ninyo pag merong anniversary, merong investiture, merong mga pathfinders nagbabasa ng article which is the journal report na ikaw ang gumawa na director ipapabasa mo sa bata. So yun yung isang guide na sa tinuturo natin sa mga bata, sa pathfinder natin, na matuto silang hindi lang magsalita ng tamang pagbibigkas, sa tamang pagbabasa, kundi yung, yung ginagawa niyang pagiging isang uh, uh, bata papuntang leader sa paglaki niya na talagang mayroong magandang uh, patutunguhan yung kanyang ginagawang uh, uh, gusto mangyari sa buhay niya. So yun po yun. So kaya kung hindi pa ninyo nasubukan magkaroon ng mga article or journal report sa inyong Pathfinder program na mayroon kayong mga part na dapat yan ang binabasa, no? hindi lang yung laging history, mga reporting din, eh dapat ginagawa na po ninyo sa inyong Pathfinder Club. So sa aming Pathfinder Club sa Provident, since 15 years na po kami, 15 years po namin ginagawa yung meron kaming article, may publication kami, may posting kami sa mga bulletin, nababasa ng mga tao. Kaya talagang maganda yung program ng isang club kapag may mga ganong uh, activity na nagka-challenge sila, hindi yung puro ano lang kung ano lang yung ano. Uh, kailangan magkaroon tayo ng magandang karagdagan sa ating training sa ating uh, programa sa church. Yun lang po. So, yun yung ating ini-import sa inyo. Sana agahan ninyo kasi medyo uh, mahaba-haba itong topic nito At hindi ganun katali ang gumagawa ng article sa ating uh, mga program sa church. Ewan ko kayo sa inyo.